Hi guys, Alex here and welcome back to another SSR analysis video and today we are taking a look at the three super trunks currently in the game and hopefully by the end of this video I will be able to tell you guys which one is the best. So if we start off with the STR type, his leader skill increased the HP and attack of tech in and STR type units by 20%, his super attack causes extreme damage. And his passive skill increases his attack by 50% when his key meter is 5 or more. And if we have a look at his links, he has Super Saiyan, Messenger from the Future, Golden Warrior, the Vegeta Family, Z Fighters, and Soul vs. Soul. And last but not least, if we take a look at his stats, he has 6,833 HP, 7,812 attack, and 3,744 defense. So overall, I don't really think this card is that great. He only has an extreme damage multiplier. His passive skill is okay, it gives him an additional 50% attack. But apart from that, nothing really stands out about his card. His link skills are pretty bad. His main key links are Golden Warrior, the Vegeta family and Soul vs Soul, which means that you're going to need very specific characters that actually give him a lot of key. And not to mention his stats also aren't the greatest. His HP stat is pretty bad. He has a decent attack and defense stat, but apart from that, this card really isn't that great overall. So now let's move on to the physical super trunks. His leader skill increases the attack of all types by 25%. His super attack causes extreme damage and his passive skill weakens regeneration and gives him a 40% attack boost. And he also has the exact same links as the previous Super Trunks. He has Golden Warrior, Messenger from the Future, Super Saiyan, the Vegeta Family, Z Fighters, and Soul vs. Soul. And before I give my opinion on this car, let's quickly have a look at his stats. He has 8,175 HP, 7,691 attack, and 4,049 defense. So again, like the previous Trunks, he really isn't that great. His leader skill doesn't stand out. He only does extreme damage. His passive skill gives him a 40% attack boost at the start of the turn, whereas the STR trunks had a 50% attack boost. His links also aren't the greatest. As mentioned before, he has the exact same links as STR super trunks, which means that he is not going to be getting very much key unless he has very specific units around him. One thing that I will say about this card though is that he has much better stats than the previous super trunk. So now let's move on to the final super trunks, which is going to be the reward for the 14th world tournament, if I am not mistaken. His leader skill increases the attack of int types by 50%. His super attack causes supreme damage. His passive skill gives him 2 key and it also gives him a 60% attack boost when HP is 30% or more. And if we have a look at his links, he has Golden Warrior, Messenger from the Future, Super Saiyan, the Vegeta Family, Z Fighter and Soul vs Soul. Before I move on to his stats, I am going to quickly say that I am very disappointed with this card. This was the perfect opportunity to give Super Trunks a good card. Honestly, all they had to do was give him the Prepared for Battle link and he would be a good card. But because he lacks any good links, he's instantly a bad card. The only good thing that I can say about this card is definitely the fact that his Super Attack does super Supreme damage and obviously his passive skill is pretty good, it increases his key by 2 and it also increases his attack by 60%. But if we have a quick look at his stats, he has 9,013 HP. 7,322 attack and 4,627 defense. But overall, this card definitely had tons of potential, but his links definitely let him down in the end. But now, let's move on to the conclusion of this SSR analysis video, and in third place comes the STR Super Trunks, just mainly because he has really bad stats when you compare him to the other two. Which means that in second place comes the physical Super Trunks. The main reason why he is better than the STR type is definitely because of his statistics. It's definitely true that the STR type gets a 50% attack boost, whereas the physical only gets a 40 attack boost. But I honestly think that the physical Trunks is definitely better overall, despite not having that additional 10% attack. And that means in first place comes the Int Super Trunks. I mentioned this before, but I am definitely disappointed with this card. The main reason why he wins it is definitely because his Super Attack does supreme damage, and not to mention his passive. Passive skill gives him 2 key and it also increases his attack by 60% when HP is 30% or more. Granted there is a HP restriction but I honestly don't think that's big enough of a factor to put him below the other two. He does have some very poor links but he does have the best statistics overall. In my opinion I do believe that they are all bad cards but the Int Super Trunks is definitely the best out of the three. But that is it guys, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like for more Dragon Ball content. Hope you'll enjoyed it and I will catch you guys in the next one.